Whether it's the quill industry getting disrupted by pens or the pants making industry getting disrupted by quarantine, careers of today might fade away tomorrow. This is really something to think about when we vote. Some of us believe the world's richest, most powerful country should fund the education of its population. Some of us think the government should be far less involved. But as this debate plays out in the US, we gotta focus. Other countries are getting their citizens ready for these jobs of the future by investing in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. Look, to be fair, we're doing it too, but is it to the same extent? Less than 20% of 13 to 19 year olds are interested in STEM careers. That's not great, guys. Even coming out of your room to say hi to your parents' friends polls at like 23%. If we don't convince more young people to go into STEM, we'll fall behind in the global economy. And it shouldn't be hard to convince people because STEM fields are awesome. If you still don't believe me, take it from my friend Bill Nye the Science Guy. A, yes, he's my friend, you can be jealous. And B, when he was your age, he thought about becoming Bill Nye the Bagel Guy. Bill Nye the Brake Pads Guy, or just Bill Nye the Guy. But thankfully for all of us, he chose a career in science, and it made all the difference for him. Greetings, Bill and I here. Cal asked me to do a little bit about the importance of science, technology, engineering, and math. There's nothing more important. How do you think we even have this video? Or you have enough food to eat? Or the 7.7 .7 billion other people around the world have enough food to eat? Do you think it's magic? No, people, it's science. It's in the U.S. Constitution. The progress of science and useful arts. That's like making things to solve problems. Now, Cal, you got to figure out how to put the paper in your printer yourself. You can do that. You can do it. Now, some of you might be wondering, isn't this all kind of hypocritical coming from someone who is happily benefiting from an education in the arts? And to that, I offer you two points. First, the arts aren't all fun and games. Need I remind you? Second, check out the movement to invest in something called STEAM. And no, I'm not talking about turbine lobbyists. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Math. The idea there is that infusing arts curriculum into STEM will allow the United States to not just advance technology, but to creatively innovate, AKA more jobs of the future. Who you vote for locally and nationally will say a lot about the direction of our educational system and the economy. Will we stay competitive with the rest of the world? Now, some elected officials do seem to understand genuinely the importance of these fields for the future. And for the ones who don't, well, maybe it's time they learn a new set of skills. CalPen approves this message. Now streaming. New episodes Wednesdays.